What is up, you guys? It is in real life 32 here. I wanted to discuss the new cards that just got released from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Edition Singapore. Uh, we have a couple on here. Uh, first one that I wanted to cover was the Winged Dragon of Raw God Phoenix. So it'll probably be translated to Phoenix God. Uh, but its effect is that it's a divine type, divine beast, level 10, attack and defense 4,000. So it's really big. Uh, it cannot be normal summoned reset, must be special summoned by its own effects, and cannot be special summoned by other card effects. And its first effect is that if this card is in your graveyard, when the Winged Dragon of Ra is sent from the field to your graveyard, special summon this card from the graveyard, cards and effects cannot be activated in response to the activation of this effect. Second effect, this card is unaffected by other card effects. Third effect, you can pay a thousand life points to send one monster on the field to the graveyard. Note how it says send one monster, doesn't target, just sends it. And then the fourth effect is that during the end phase, send this card to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one, the Winged Dragon of Raw Spear Mode, from your hand, deck, or graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. Now, I also did pull up a uh, Spear Mode here, and it cannot be special summoned, and it requires three tributes from either side of the field to normal summon to that side of the field, and cannot be normal set. Normal set, excuse me. Then, shift control to this card's owner during the end phase of the next turn and it cannot attack. Your opponent cannot target this card for attacks or by card effects. You can tribute this card if my mouse will work. Special summon one, the winged dragon of raw from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions, and if you do, its attack and effects become 4,000, and the spear mode has unknown attack and events. So it acts like a lava golem. You can tribute three of your opponent's monsters, summon it to that side of the field, and then at the end phase, it goes back to your own side of the field. So, uh, essentially, what you're going to end up doing is that it's very hard to get out, obviously. Um, so normally what you're going to probably have to do is probably Foolish Burial, like the Spear Mode or something, or even like the Phoenix Mode, and just kind of recycle it that way. Um, when it's in, If this card is in your graveyard, when the Winged Dried Raw is sent from the field of the graveyard, so yeah, you're going to have to start with Spear Mode. You're going to have to get off three monsters, play out Spear Mode, end phase it comes back to your side of the field, and then you're going to have to tribute for Raw. Raw is going to pop. You're going to get out the Phoenix mode. And you're going to have to hopefully win in that turn with Phoenix mode. Um, or Phoenix God, whatever it is you want to call it. Because it's going to go to the graveyard at the end phase. And then you're going to start back again with Spear mode. So is it good? Eh, I'd rather play Slifer or Obelisk or something good. Now, something else that goes with this Divine Beast card is True Name. You can only activate True Name once per turn. And its effect. Declare a card name. Excavate the top card of your deck, and if it is the card you named, add it to your hand. Then you can add to your hand or special summon one divine monster from your deck. If it is not the card you named, send the excavated card to the graveyard. So, Konami wants to make Sylvans a thing with the Egyptian gods? Egyptian god Sylvans? Maybe? No? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, true name is bad. Um, I don't see how this card can be used at all um, unless you go like top deck, plague spreader, true name, call whatever you top deck, reveal it, drop obelisk, win that turn somehow. Um, I I really have no idea how that card's going to be used. Uh, and then we have some other ones here as well. Uh, we also have uh, some new blue eye support. Um, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, there's some better blue eye support here. Um, here we go. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. So these are going to be given to the people who buy pre-sale tickets to the movie, which starts on December 12th, for the new movie that's coming out. Um, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. It's Light Dragon Level 8. Attack 3000, defense 2500. Cannot be normal summoner set. Must be special summoned from the hand by revealing one Blue Eyes White Dragon in your hand to your opponent. You can only special summon Blue Eyes Alternative once per turn this way. And its name is treated as Blue Eyes while on the field or in the grave. And once per turn, you can target a monster your opponent controls. Destroy it. This card cannot attack the turn you activate this effect. So, uh, me and my dad were actually talking about this card, and, and he tried to say to me, well, can't you, why not, you could run that in Malefics, because you could run Malefic Blue Eyes, and then you could reveal Blue Eyes in your hand, summon out Alternative, Vanish Alternative from Malefic Blue Eyes, but it's like, you're just wasting more space in your deck. There'd be no real point in doing that. Um, it, it would just be pointless. Uh, and then we also have this one. I freaking am so happy that they made this. Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. It's Light Dragon Fusion. Uh, 10 stars, 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. Requires two Blue Eyes White Dragons, which is freaking amazing. It cannot be special summoned except by a Fusion Summon and the following method. 
You can send the above fusion material monsters you control in your monster zone to the graveyard, and especially on this card from your deck, you do not use polarization. So pretty much what you're going to probably end up doing is going summon uh, High Priestess, somehow get off, or not High Priestess, excuse me, Maiden with Eyes of Blue, somehow get off Maiden of Eyes of Blue's effect to where it gets targeted, play out Blue Eyes, Silver's Cry, another Blue Eyes, send both to the grave for this Twin Burst Dragon, and it can't be destroyed by battle, it can attack twice, and if this card did not destroy an opponent's monster in battle at the end of the damage set, banish that opponent's monster. It's a DD Warrior Lady for no particular reason. So with this Blue Eyes support, hopefully Blue Eyes will be able to be a more of a competitive deck, because it's always been one of those decks, kind of like for me with Red Eyes, that like I hope becomes competitive one day. Um, I think Blue Eyes did top one event some time ago, a uh, regional, but other than that, it didn't really top anything at all. Um, so, yeah, that was a thing. Um, and then we also have the cards that Merrick used in the anime, if you guys ever watched them. Uh, holding Arms and Holding Legs, he used these against Mai. When he was when he played out Raw, he used Holding Arms and Holding Legs to hold her back, literally, so that she couldn't defend herself. Um, but we have Holding Arms, which is a Dark Fiend, level 4, attack 500, defense 1200. And when it's summoned, you can target one face-up monster your, your opponent controls. While this card is face-up, that face-up target cannot attack or activate its effects. So it's basically a Fiendish Chain. And its f second effect is that while the monster targeted by this card's first effect is face up on the field, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects, which it's really weak, so that's cute that it has that effect built into it. I don't really see it being used at, uh, at all. Uh, holding legs, though, is a different story. So it's a Dark Fiend level 4, attack 800, defense 600. When it's summoned, you return all set spell and trap cards to the hand. That's really good. Especially against the tellers if they don't have Satellar Nova Alpha for whatever reason. Summon, send back your 5 back row proceed to go off. And then you can banish it from your graveyard to target a set spell or trap your opponent controls. That card cannot be activated until the end of your opponent's next turn. So if they have, like, let's say, one back row, you can foolish holding legs, banish it, target that face down, can't be activated, go off. Um, and then we already talked about true name. Um, have some new DD support, which is irrelevant. Um, and then they talked about some other blue eyes stuff. Blue eyes spirit dragon. It's a light dragon level nine. Attack twenty five hundred defense three thousand. One turn plus one more non turn blue eyes monsters. Neither player can special summon two or more monsters at once. Okay, so this is really good because of the fact that basically you don't have to run Azure eyes anymore. You can just run this and play it out in defense since it has the same stats as Azure eyes twenty five hundred attack three thousand defense. And you completely shut off pendulum summoning essentially. So the way that I see blue eyes being ran now is that it's going to be ran. Uh, like a sort of stunny control type of deck where you want to shut your opponent out from making big plays against your big monsters. So you essentially want to be able to just be able to sit on the board with like a Blue Eyes, Twin Burst, Blue Eyes Ultimate, whatever it is that you're trying to make. Hell, maybe we'll even see Dragon Master Knight being played now, which would be freaking awesome. <laughs> um, because that card is just badass. Like, I don't care what anyone says, it's one of my uh, one of my most favorite cards in the game next to Self-Destruct Button. Um, so you're trying to make these plays, and so you don't want your opponent being able to mount a comeback. Well, how else are they going to do that? Because they're going to make more resources than you could be able to stop. So, Inge Knights like to pendulum summon everything? No, just shut that off. That's that's all you got to do. Um, and then the second effect is that once per turn, when the effect of a card in the graveyard activates, you can negate that activation. So it's essentially like a Cyber Dragon Infinity, just not as good. Uh, and then during either player's turn, you contribute the Synchro Summon card, especially summon a dragon type light synchro monster from your extra deck and face defense, except Spirit Dragon, that monster is destroyed in the end phase of this turn. And I think for the last card, we have White Spirit Dragon, which is the light dragon level 8, 2500 attack, 2000 defense. This card's name is always treated as a blue eyes card, which is very good to keep in mind. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, it's treated as a normal monster. And when this card is normal, especially summon, you can target one spell or trap card, the opponent controls, destroy it. So it's a breaker. That's really good. Um, Wish it wasn't level 8, because then it'd be a little bit better. But then it'd just be random and everything. And then during either player's turn, if the opponent controls a monster, you contribute this card, especially on one blue eyes white dragon from your hand. And yeah, sorry, I thought that there was a fourth effect, but there's not. That's its uh, three effects. During either player's turn, if the opponent controls a monster, you contribute this card, especially on one blue eyes from your hand. So, more special summoning of blue eyes. I mean, that almost kind of makes it want to be like a turbo-esque build where you just drop as many blue eyes as possible and then make big plays. <laughs> um, and then we got Guard with Eyes of Blue and Sage with Eyes of Blue. So Sage Knight with Eyes of Blue is a light spellcaster level 1, attack 800, defense 1300, it's a tuner. You can only use the second effect of Sage Knight once per turn. Its first effect is that when this card is normal summon, you can add one light level 1 tuner monster from your deck to your hand except Sage. And its second effect is that you, you can discard this card, then target one effect monster you control, send it to the graveyard, and if you do special one blue eyes monster from your deck, 
And then we have Guard with Eyes of Blue, Light Spellcaster level 1, Attack 0, Defense 1500, Tuner. You can only use the second effect of Guard once per turn. And its first effect is that when this card is normal summon, you could special summon one level 1 Tuner monster from your hand. That's searching, though. And its second effect is that you can target one effect monster you control, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one Blue Eyes monster from your hand. So you can't send Blue Eyes White Dragon. Dang. <laughs> uh, and then we just have some other stuff here. Um... I don't really care about the Mecha Overlords. Uh, yeah, that is all the new cards. Um, new Blackwing Synchro, which Blackwings are irrelevant. So I'm really excited for this new um, Egyptian God stuff. Uh, the Egyptian Gods will always hold a beautiful, beautiful place in my heart because they're just, they're so freaking cool. Like, we don't get a lot of Divine Beast cards, and we were supposed to get Heracity, but it was an OCG exclusive, so hopefully we'll get that one day in the TCG because there have been some Heracity OTKs in the past, and in case you guys don't know what Heracity is, basically, if you, you're, you're able to get out, if you're able to get out all three of the original Egyptian gods, like, not like Phantom of Chaos type of crap, the actual three Egyptian gods on your side of the field, you sack off all three, special summon Heracity, and you win the duel. Literally. Has unknown attack and defense. Its summon can't be negated. Unaffected by any other card effects. And when it's summoned, you win the duel. And there have been some OTK uh, builds in the past where uh, you would use like triple ultimate offering and you would use a gadget engine. So you would go like play ultimate offering, play a gadget, search, pay 500, summon, search, summon, search, sack off all three, Egyptian god, rinse and repeat. So, and it was good for the time. Um, you could also run triple one day of peace, which was really good. Um, and I don't have that build anymore, unfortunately, but, uh, you can find it somewhere on YouTube, just Heracity OTK. Um, as for the Blue Eyes support, I don't think the Blue Eyes is going to be competitive, unfortunately. Um, as much as I would like to see it competitive, as I said earlier in the video, I don't see it becoming competitive anytime soon. But anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I apologize for missing yesterday's upload. Um, I should be able to upload the rest of this week. I've just been busy with stuff, and I had to work yesterday. So, that's it for this video. I know it was a little bit longer, but hopefully you guys enjoyed my, uh, explanation of these new cards, and, uh, Hopefully, they'll, they'll impact the game somewhat. I really want uh, Egyptian gods to somewhat be something relevant. <laughs>